Hi everyone, uh, it's Caroline from Paris Gallico, historical food and crafts demonstrations. For once again, I'm in 21st century outfit and today it's to show you how to remove the skin, the feathers and to gut a pheasant, to prepare it for the pot if you like. You can roast it over an open fire, you can roast it in an oven at home, you can use poikies or Dutch oven or anything you like. I'll just show you what you can do really quickly to prepare it for the pot. The first thing you have to find is the link between the neck and the shoulders of the bird. Once you find it, we'll remove the head on one part, we'll remove the legs and we'll remove um, the wings as well. Now, you just need to feel where the shoulder links with the neck and go with a big knife, so not this simple one, but the bigger one, and you will remove a little bit the feathers and just go through it. There you go. Once you have removed the head, you can remove the wings as well. There's a trick for that. So if you open one wing, you will see that on one part of it, you have a lot of skin and no bones. And that's where you want to cut through. Cut through there, and then we'll remove the joint. Use a smaller knife, go through one way or the other. And once that's done, you can bend backwards and reveal the joint of it, and then you can cut through that. And once you have removed the wing, you can put it on the branch, attach it like that, for example, leave it over your open fire in the smoke, dry it off, and you can use it as a feather duster, for example. <laughs> now that we have removed the head and the wings, I'll show you where to go to uh, open the bird in the middle and then just peel off the skin. Right, you need to check where the neck was, and it's mainly skin, so all that part of the bird, they are just the fillets. So you can hold it on one side, check where the neck is, and insert your knife going upwards, making sure you don't cut yourself. There you go. Once you have made a little incision, grab it on both sides and just pull it open. Like that. These are very fresh, so it's really easy to uh, remove the skin and all the feathers. You can pluck pheasant, I just find it much quicker to do that like that. Now if you want to keep the skin to roast it, you can absolutely do that. So once you open it, go towards the end of the bird, so you now have the whole fillet and the whole breast open. As we cut the wings, you will have to go above the shoulder, there you go. Try to find a way around it, like so. And, well enough, just pull. If the skin rips, it's pretty normal. They are very delicate birds. Don't worry too much about it. You can continue. Hold it by the breast, not below and pull the skin off. Here you go. You will reveal the legs. Up. You can just pull it off and just cut it later. There you go. Remove the few feathers left around. Up, up, up. You want to remove the back end, so make sure you don't cut too far. It's just the tail of the bird. Here you go. There will be a lot of feathers everywhere. Don't worry, you can rinse it in cold water as well. At last is removing the inside of the birds. And the very important thing is to not destroy, pierce, rip any of the internal organs. You have a lot of the rib cage here, a lot of the breast, so don't hesitate to hold on to that. There is a little part at the end of the rib cage of skin. Pull it chop a little bit, create an incision, and then continue the incision just under the ribcage of the bird there on both sides. If you want to, you can hold on to the legs and pull the top. You will genuinely reveal what's inside. Now, that's what you have to remove. So I'll just show you precisely where to go. I use my fingers to go along the ribcage, all around it. It's actually pretty clean. There's a lot of coagulated blood, don't worry too much about it.
And that's how it should look like pretty much. Now that's empty. So for the moment, I'll just remove the feet. You don't really have to, but it's always a bit better. So I usually bend them to see where the joint is. Uh, you can see there and go through with your knife. Now you can attach it and if you want to roast it, you will need, for example, hazel. Hazel is really good. A rod of hazel fruit and two or three small sharp pieces of hazel as well to maintain it, to pierce through it in different directions and maintain it on the, on the spit. Here you go, thanks for watching. I hope that now you feel a bit more comfortable dealing with pheasants when they are not even gutted if you're outside. Have a good day.